back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today, what I'm gonna be making is actually something for me and my fiance's four year anniversary coming up in June. Now what I'm gonna be making is a stand-up collage. So let's get into it, you guys. Let's get started, you guys. So for the first little collage here, I'm going to be putting in the hexagon mold, and this one's actually going to be a winter theme. And the second one here, I'm going to be putting into the circular mold, and that guy is going to be a summer theme. And last but not least, this one's going to go into the square mold and be an autumn theme. In the summer one, I'm going to be adding some sand to make it look like a beach. Now it's time to add your one part hardener into your mixing container that has measures on the side. In that same mixing container, now pour an equal part of resin. Now you guys start your three minute timer and start slowly mixing. Now that we're finished mixing, it's time to separate a small amount of that resin into a little bowl. Choose your color for your mold. Add your color to your little bowl of resin. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Mix in that color very slowly to avoid bubbles. Once your mixture is all ready, then pour it into the sides of the mold. Now, once you pour a little bit in there, pick up your mold and move it around so you can guide the resin into the edges and keep it away from the middle. Once you are done with the process of pouring the resin in, guiding it where it needs to go, take a popsicle stick and just level out all the resin. All right, you guys, so this could be hit or miss. We are starting with a new medium today, and that is sand. Now, I just added sand to half of the mold to kind of give a beach and sea vibe. Once you are happy with the placement of your sand, then just take a popsicle stick, move any sand away from the middle, and then blend the edges into the resin. Now let's get onto our autumn mold. Separate three small amounts of the mixture into bowls. Choose some fun autumn colors for your mold. Now mix in your colors. When pouring these resins in here, we're gonna be doing what I did in my last video for my Galaxy phone stand. We're gonna be putting the resin into separate sections of the side of the mold and then blending them together with a popsicle stick. Just like what we did with our autumn mold, you guys, pour your resin into two separate areas. Don't forget to blend those edges with a popsicle stick when you are finished pouring your resin. So here is the last step before we set these aside for a few hours. Now all you have to do is pour a little bit of resin into each center of each mold. Once your resin is poured in the center of each mold, then take a popsicle stick and spread it around the middle, making sure not to mix the colors on the side with the clear that's in the center. Now you guys, it is just a matter of waiting three more hours for the resin to get tacky. is all tacky, we can now put our collage pictures inside the molds. Now don't forget to push them down firmly just so they stay right where we put them. Once your inserts are placed, now it's time to make some resin to put on top. Once your resin mixture is ready, then pour it into the molds, but make sure you don't fill the mold all the way up because once these set up, we're going to be putting another color on top of it. 
Once you are done pouring your resin into your molds, then take a popsicle stick and push your inserts down even further to get any of the pesky bubbles hiding underneath to come to the surface. All right, now to add a little bit more fun to these guys, I'm gonna break up some flowers and add them to the autumn mold and to the winter mold. And did you guys really think I was gonna leave this video unglittered? I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of these little glitter flakes that look kinda like snowflakes to the winter mold. Now you guys just get rid of those bubbles that came up and we're ready to wait three more hours. Now set these aside for three hours. All right, you guys, now make sure you have your colorants or your makeup header set aside because we're gonna be adding colors to these guys. Once you have your resin mixture ready, then separate it into two small bowls. Add your colors and slowly mix the colors in. Then add your color mixtures, one on each side of the mold. Once your resins are poured in, then take a popsicle stick and make some cool swirls in both of the colors. Choose your colors for your next mold and add them to your mixtures and mix slowly. Once again, pour your resin on separate sides of the mold. Now swirl the colors up together a little bit or do any fun design you choose. And finally, the last mold here. Now get your colors in your resin mixtures and stir them slowly. Now the colors I chose for this mold look a little bit different on camera than they actually do in real life. Now this first one here I am mixing is actually kind of a light green pink color and this one here is actually a bronze color. We are finally almost finished you guys. Now just pour your resins in on separate sides of the mold. Make this swirl count, you guys, because this is the last swirl of this project, finally. The last step, you guys, just make sure you debubble your creations before you let them set. Now it's time to finally wait 72 hours to see how these turn out. All right, you guys, so it has been a few days and it's finally time to unmold these three bad boys. So let's get right into it, you guys. All right, so let's start with the summer one. Oh, okay. There were some bubbles underneath that apparently did not come out. So that's kind of a bummer. I do like the sand look. Like it looks really cool with the blue, but I did notice that some of the yellow did get underneath the picture, which I don't understand because I let the resin set that was sealing that in for three hours and it worked on this picture it went right behind it this one is kind of a dud in my eyes all right let's do the winter one. Oh, and i'm noticing that the blue that i put on top of the already semi-set resin separate into these weird blob like pieces but honestly it looks pretty cool so i'm not too mad about that oh my god wow this is actually really cool Super unintentional, but I actually really f***ing love that the colors separated like that. And I do notice some of the color is creeping over top of the picture here, so maybe I just have to let the resin set a little bit longer before pouring the next color over, but this one's actually super freaking cool. And last but not least, the autumn one. Now, again, as you guys can kind of see here, it does have some separation from the resin like, like the winter one we just looked at, so we'll see how this looks on the other side. Okay, 
you guys. So everyone was just waiting for a fail and I think today is the day. I did pre-tape up these photos so no resin would leak in, but it does look like some resin did leak in and there are so many bubbles that were under the collages that I couldn't push out. You can see a little bit of the flowers here, but again, that resin did leak underneath the resin that I thought had set properly. So it's kind of covering up the flowers and you don't really see them on any other side. It does look kind of cool in certain places with the separation, but it's kind of blotchy and also kind of a dud. But the frame looks really good where I blended all of the colors together. The little pumpkin I drew looks good, but overall you guys, I'm honestly pretty disappointed in these. Out of all of them, this one is pretty cool. Honestly, I'll probably keep this around in my house. There is some bubbles, but overall it looks pretty darn cool. But the other two probably will just keep those in hiding. Forever? But at least we got one good one, right? All right, you guys. So unfortunately, two out of three are a dud. But this one ended up looking so cool. I really do like this one and I'm gonna put it up in my house kind of like a picture frame. What I was gonna do with all of them is lean them up against each other so they were always standing up. But since the other two look like shit, this guy is just gonna be leaning like a picture frame by himself. So what I think went wrong this time is when I put the pictures in, I taped them up individually. Then I put a little piece of tape on the back of each picture and stuck them to the bigger picture. So there was a little bit of space in between the smaller pictures and the bigger pictures and I think since they weren't completely flat stuck down to it that space in between allowed for bubbles to sit and then they kind of just spread along once the resin set with all the weird little holes that you can kind of see through that obviously is because the resin didn't set up enough but it was somewhat solidified so it didn't completely mix together but it was able to let some of the color through and kind of get into weird blobs in places. Honestly, that technique is super cool and I think I will be utilizing other videos, but for this project, that resin coming through went in front of some of the pictures on the other ones and it was a huge disaster. That being said, we did learn a lot of lessons and we got some kind of funky out of it, so that's good. We were overdue, I think, for a fail resin video where we learned some good lessons to make even greater projects next time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you learned some good lessons along with me because I actually learned a cool technique by accident, but also learned a lesson on how to add pictures together into a resin mold for the next time I wanna do this. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with all of my resin projects to come because we're just gonna be learning more stuff and making even greater projects next time. So I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. Please stay safe and I will see you guys next time for something fun.